Senator Ifai Uba, representing Anambra South Senatorial District yesterday, um, announced, of course, his uh, defection from the Young Progressive Party to the All Progressive Congress. According to a letter read by Senate President Godswe Lepapio during a brief plenary session on Thursday, Uba's defection was due to irreconcilable differences in the YPP. Senator Uba, who justified why he dumped the YPP to join the ruling All Progressives Congress APC, said that every politician followed the interest of his constituency and his people, hence his decision. Uba was a sole member of the YPP in the 10th Senate. Reacting to the development, the YPP in a statement condemned the APC for what it called their shameless penchant for scavenging political parties in an attempt to make Nigeria a one-party state. Now, joining us this morning to further this conversation is the National Publicity Secretary, Young People's Party, Comrade Igbeola Wale Martins. Good morning, Comrade uh, Martins. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning and thanks for having me. Um, please, is a, a point of correction is the Young Progressives Party, not Young People's Party. Young Progressives. Right. Yeah, apologies for that. Um, all right, let's get into it. Um, Senator Uba was, you know, seemingly the largest figure in uh, the YPP, you know, now gone. He, of course, uh, the story says that there were irreconcilable differences, you know, with, between himself and members of the party or leadership of the party. Can you clarify what exactly may have happened here? Um, the YPP maybe must have been expecting to continue to, you know, to expand on its members and, you know, members of the party that are in major political positions across the country. But, you know, I'm not sure how well that is going. What ha happened here? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I really, I'm not sure what I should be clarifying because you can only clarify um, where in actual fact issues are actually existing. But in this case, um, I, I, there's nothing actually to clarify because there's nothing that is actually existing in terms of irreconcilable differences as um, purportedly um, put out there by the um, senator that they come from our party, Senator Elephant Yuba in this regard. Um, in all honesty, our, our intention was that after the gains of the general election in 2023. Um, we were already in um, the forefront of trying to consolidate on our gains uh, to see how we can, um, you know, arrange to ensure that um, we're a formidable party and then continue to spread our ideology and see how we can continue to um, um, deliver the dividend of democracy um, through our elected representatives um, that have won elections in their various constituencies. But um, alas, um, probably there are other plans by individuals. Of course, it's also within their fundamental human rights to become um, freedom of expression, freedom of movement. And um, that has been exercised. But in actual fact, um, there's no need exercising such rights at the detriment of millions of other people's uh, people whose rights in, in, in the course of exercising your own rights would uh, are, are being defamed. Um, there, there's nothing as such. In fact, the YPP is one of the most peaceful political parties in the last five years. You are, you are journalists, you can, you can go and, um, and, and verify this um, statement of fact I'm giving to you. The political party with the least number of lawsuits for whatsoever reason, whether pre-election, post-election, and then he, he, that, that in itself, the statistics in itself should show how peaceful we are. And then he's a party that tends, and, and is not unconnected with the fact that we try to ensure that we do everything within the ambit of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the constitution of the Young Progressive Party, and all other tenets that guides the party. And then if at this point in time, just few months after winning an election, you felt there was a reconciliable differences that would not allow you to even exercise patience to ensure that you exhaust all the legal um, talks, you know, surrounding your mandate, um, and you feel there are issues that will make you to move. Well, if there are issues, I think the, the, the onus is on the person who has, you know, alleged 
to actually prove and not on us because there's nothing as such and i'm saying it emphatically as the spokesperson of this great party that there's nothing as such existing that warranted that existed or is still existing that warranted this movement of the party you had said something whilst answering this question you said something about everyone having a right to defect or move wherever they want to move but people shouldn't exercise their right at the detriment of the right of others. And I'd like you to expand on that. Yes. Um, is, is, what I said is um, very clear and unequivocal. And it is upon the fact that you, 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 you don't demarket a political party with millions of followers. Um, because the natural impression to, to everyone out there who may have read the statement on the reason or reasons why he actually become. Uh, are you there with us, sir? All okay. Right. We um we try to re-establish that connection with uh, comrade um, Wally Martins of the Young Progressives Party, and the conversation, of course, is centered around Senator Ifani Oba's um, uh, defection. Exits. Uh, yeah. from the YPP to the APC. He claims irreconcilable differences. Uh, he also gave, has given further, further updates in a recent interview, I think last night on another uh, sister TV station, right? He did mention on one of the shows that uh, part of why he was leaving was that his constituents wanted him to move to the APC and you know, he was basically granting their wish. So uh -huh. I feel like it's a contradiction. Yeah. Like, All right, Comrade Wani, welcome sure. back. Thank you very much. I'm very... Sorry for that um, yeah. brief interruption. Kindly go ahead. Yeah, you were explaining what exactly you meant. You, you talked about um, demarketing the Young Progressives Party. And uh, I, I'm hoping that you can pick up from there. Okay. Yeah, I'm still struggling with the, with that connection. Um, so, yes, you know, I mean, like he said, you know, and it, you know, not just him. You know, a lot of people have also mentioned it is within uh, Senator Ifan Yoba's right to decide what is best for him and his political future and his constituents, as, as, as you mentioned. He's been in you know, politics for you know, decades now. Um, one of the most popular uh, senators from Anambra State. You know, and, and so um, he's, not a, he's not a stranger to the game of politics in Nigeria. Um, it, it looks, you know, from you know, what it seems, you know, that he is simply moving to um, a political party that he believes would serve favor him, him and it will serve him better, you know. Um, the claim of, you know, wanting to be a part of the APC government so he can bring dividends of democracy to his people, you know, can be argued, you know, because, you know, he's been a senator for long enough, you know, to be able to point out the dividends of democracy that he has brought to the, you know, to the people of uh, Anambra uh, South or Anambra North now um, in, the, in the years that he's been in the Senate. So, uh, you know, but once again, it is within his right. Uh, the YPP, of course, saying that you shouldn't, you know, then... Um, um, beat on, you know, on the party simply because you want to exit. Um, you know, it, it's also within their rights to say that. Um, Comrade Wale, welcome back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Um, kindly go yes. ahead. You know, there's also the... the okay. Yeah, I, I want to just chip in, a, you know, another question so you could um, uh, speak on both. Um, uh, Senator Uba also saying that he is moving to the APC so that he can bring you know, the de dividends of democracy in uh, uh, President Tinubu's government to his people in Anambra, in the senatorial district. Um, I, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, once again, what this means about, you know, the YPP, you know, and, you know, his claims that his people ask him to move. Is, is, is it that there's not much faith in the YPP as a party? Um, yes, you've claimed that it's a, a peaceful party and all of that, but it's politics. Yes, your, I think your last... Um, statement um, clarified your question and his politics and that is what has played out this time around not on the basis of the fact that um, the YPP is not a solid party the solid party um, is, is one of the top five leading political parties in Nigeria you can, you can verify that and um, I, I can tell you that um, no, no, we are not against you moving from one political party to another. I have said that is within his right and the right of any other person that wants to do that. However, that should not be done at the detriment 
of others, not even at the detriment of the political party that represents the interest of millions of Nigerians. And my 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 and, and I'm saying this so that it will be on record because posterity will always judge us. Whoever reads that statement in the future and then um, who sees that okay, what made if I about to move at this um, at a point in time in history, um, there will always be a rejoinder to that statement that look the YPP clarified this, that it wasn't on account of what he said. And I see stand by what I have said. And if if you want to, you can form political alliances, you can form uh, political um, collaboration without necessarily moving from your political party. Uh, Yosef Buke today is still in PDP, but he's serving in the government of um, the APC. Uh, I mean, that is political collaboration and also trying to see how it can serve the people. Um, there are so many other people, and um, I, I think this issue of you saying you must move in order for um, 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 for you to serve your people, in, in my own in my own opinion, is all gosh. You, you don't have to move to serve the interest of your people. You can you can you can you can be in synergy with the ruling party and still deliver dividends of democracy to to the people. Um, so um, that, that in no way, um, I have said it, um, his movement may have been for a number of reasons, but definitely irreconcilable differences is definitely not one of it. And I, 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 I still maintain that, and I, I, I start by that. All right, uh, Senator Ifani did return to the Senate, like we all know, for the second time under the platform of the YPP. Now that he's exited, Yes, you said he has the right to exit. Does this in any way affect maybe the popularity of the YPP? No, on the contrary, not. In fact, it's going to make the party even more stronger. I mean, stronger. And you agree with... Yes, I'm hoping that, you know, we can connect with him. There's a bit of a network challenge because... I want him to, I want to find out if it really affects the party because he's the most popular face or yeah. most popular political figure in the party. One, two, like you asked, does the party feel betrayed? Because it feels like, oh, when you, you we were, when you were in your time yeah. of need, we were there for you. Now it's time for you to enjoy the dividends of your success and you've abandoned us to go for someone more popular. All right. Uh, welcome back, comrade. You were answering. Uh, the question was, does the YPP feel betrayed? No, the question was, does the exit of a Senator Ifani Uba affect the popularity or the strength of the party? And, you know, an addendum would be that does the party feel betrayed? Uh, well, naturally, for every human being, uh, to answer your last question, uh, is this impression that, um, uh, no, I mean, betrayer, no, it's politics. You know, even though some people in the party might feel betrayed, um, but I can tell you, and particularly for at least majority of us in the white people who are conversant with politics in this part of the world, you know, you can't um, rule out such. Uh, uh, Senator Ifanyiwa has been in the country for the past five years, and finally, he has made it possible. There's always been rumors surrounding his the country from the white people to. Um, the either the uh, APC or the PDP, and then it's just our mentality in this part of the world until we begin to see governance as an opportunity to serve the people. Until political parties, uh, I mean um, politicians in this case, are. Uh, uh, you know, are able to drive ideology behind their service. Uh, we may continue to have this kind of situation that we are currently experiencing. And then, um, of course, if, are, are politicians not moving from the APC to other political parties? Yes, this movement, are, but it's all about, we, we feel there's a need for there to be a reorientation of the mindset of our politicians in this part of the world. Let them be able to devise an ideology that they will live by an uphold, not moving for political gains. And I will tell you honestly, 
that most of these movements are based on self-interest. I want to serve the people, I want to serve the people. Only few may want to do it genuinely. You know, we, we have advanced democracies that we tend to copy and want to be like. We see yeah. what they do. We see a Republican. They, they know the, they, it's something they nurture from when they, they are in the, in the primary school. And, and you see they hold onto the ideology and they live by it and die by it. You know, um, so um, um, I, I would say on the first question, it, it will not, in fact, is going to be, is making the YPP more popular. Because whether you like it or not, as um, popular a figure he was in our party, he also may have stopped a lot of politicians from moving into our party. And that's honest truth. Uh, a lot of people who may not actually, who's, um, uh, who may not really naturally resonate with his um, style of leadership may have been impeded from coming into our party on account of him being in the party. So, you know, conversely, his movement also will attract those people to come back into the party, to move into the party en masse. So either way, it's a win-win for both. And then I, I do not see it in any way um, um, diminishing in any form at all. YPP, you know, is able to, um, you know, address this. You know, I see that, you know, there's already been a press statement. And, uh, you know, and of course, Olive would probably ask about the legal implications, you know, right after this. But I, I want to, you know, ask about, um, it's not the only time we've seen this. You know, there was a report that, uh, the YPP governorship candidate in uh, Delta State's election, Sonny um, Ofehe, you know, is uh, currently appointed as um, the current governor, Governor Sheriff's uh, executive assistant on external relations and diaspora and affairs. Um, so it's not, I mean, if this is true, you know, it's, it means that it's not the first time that we are seeing uh, members of the YPP, you know, maybe not seeing that the, the party is strong enough to uh, be loyal to the party. Um, we understand, of course, that, you know, it's, it's like you've said, it's one of the top five parties in Nigeria. Fair enough. Um, but what, what more work do you believe that YPP needs to do uh, to improve on its standings in Nigeria as a political party and stop seeing, you know, these defections happen every now and then at the slightest opportunity? No, I think we've uh, lost uh, Comrade Wale again. Um, but yes, um, we, we of course, have um, um, seen these happen in the past. And like I said, you know, in Delta State, the YPP governorship candidate, um, you know, is currently working as the executive assistant uh, to the Delta State governor. Um, and of course, now we're talking about Senator Ifayin Oba. Uh, so it, it, it feels almost, you know, like once members of the party find some other opportunity that, you know, that is offered their way or, you know, some other, you know, leeway out of, you know, out of the YPP. They immediately take it, you know, and, and you know, it, it tells a lot about what the YPP standing is like. Oh, it just might tell a lot about the loyalty of yeah, the person. The persons. character of persons, exactly, yes. Exactly, that you they're throwing their support behind. Very true, but um, isn't that the average Nigerian politician? Okay. And it's not, it's not just a YPP thing, it's the average Nigerian politician. You know, I would bet that if the APC loses power today to some other political party, um, a lot of their members will defect within one year and move to that new political party uh, to, of course, find favor and, of course, use that as a, as a uh, vehicle to achieve their political goals and political aspirations. And that's what politics has always been in Nigeria. Political parties really have not necessarily had any proper ideologies. They are simply just vehicles that politicians use to reach to achieve their, their, dreams. Their, their yes. dreams. Yes, that's just what it is. Um, and so it's, it's, it's not shocking for anyone. So maybe, maybe I mean, I would have really loved to ask for the legal implication. Maybe one way in which political parties can protect themselves would be to some, enter into some form of agreement. I don't know if that's possible to say, okay, you, if you ever decide to leave our party, you can, if you win with our platform, you can only leave after a number of years. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if that's something to look at or if that would be something that maybe is illegal as well because yeah. you're infringing on their right to political association. Very it's true. just like saying to employees of labor, or bosses who say, oh, if you live here, you can't work anywhere else for the next six months. Just a very silly clause to put inside a number of agreements. But, I mean, the agreement, arguments for and against those, those type of contracts uh, arguments that will not stop. But, yeah, unfortunately, we cannot connect with 
Comrade Wiley. We hope that you can have him some other time. And we wish the Young Progressives Party all the best. They have accused the All Progressives, Con uh, all Progressives Congress, APC, of having a penchant for poaching figures from political parties because it would seem that uh, they want to run a one-party state, which is against democracy. But we'll see how... Mm -hmm.